Look, I think that, that what I do in, in government and what I do when I'm in opposition is something that nobody else does. Remember that, that I have been effectively monitoring our economy for 51 years. Uh, I would get withdrawal symptoms if I stopped doing it. And it's basically it's the whole of my life. This is, this is what I do with my life, right? So I expect to be here for the 15th. I think I still have a lot to offer. I really enjoyed the work I've done. Um, I'm still full of energy. I'm rejuvenated almost with my weight loss and so on. And I still want to do as much as I can for Gibraltar, for its environment, for education, for culture, or for whatever else comes my way. Also in support of the team, of, of Fabian and Joseph, um, who have so much on, uh, and I'm always be there for them, and I want to be there for my people, who I love. I'm extremely ambitious for Gibraltar. The GSLP Liberals are extremely ambitious for Gibraltar. So, you know, I want to come back. I want to finish off a lot of things that, uh, that I haven't been able to do uh, simply because of COVID. My portfolio was a, is a, a difficult portfolio to hold during the, during the last, four, uh, last four years for obvious reasons. Um, and like I say, I have the energy. Um, Gibraltar needs to uh, move. Uh, you know, there are things that we need to change around in our economy going forward. We have a treaty with the European Union that we started to negotiate that needs to be taken to its logical conclusion, a conclusion which is safe, secure and beneficial for Gibraltar. We are not there yet and I am determined and convinced that we are the people to do it. And to, to a very large extent, this election is about who people want to conclude that treaty. Do you want those who have been dealing with the negotiations up to now or will sadly change the captains in the middle of the negotiation? And I don't think that's the wise thing to do but obviously people will decide at the end.